Hey everybody, welcome back to video number two of painting techniques. So the last video I showed you how to create some different textures and impressions with this type of painting tool that I showed you how to make in the previous video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create some different types of prints by using objects and then I'll show you a couple of different tools that are fun to paint with. So printmaking in this situation with this type of paint that we have basically just means that I'm dipping an object and I'm making a print of it on paper. So if I were to use a fork and make a print of a fork, I would dip it and its print would look like this. If I were to make a print of, and this is an object we've already used, if I were to make a print of a Q-tip, I would dip it and its print would look like this, very basic. If I were to make a print of a paper towel tube, I dip the bottom of it and its print looks like this. So you guys, printmaking with this type of paint or regardless any type of paint that you have at home, this is just what I have on hand. So printmaking with any type of paint just means that you are gathering objects Obviously objects that you don't really care about, right? You don't want to use nice objects in this food coloring that your mom, your dad, your TT, whoever are going to be like, why'd you do that? So please make sure that you are asking permission before you do this, but you're basically just gathering objects and you're dipping them to make prints of them. This is called printmaking. Now you guys remember, this is food coloring. So if you get it on your fingers, it will stain. It will eventually come off, but it will stain. So make sure that whatever you're painting on top of, you also have something underneath the surface that you don't necessarily care about so that you're not getting food coloring on other surfaces. Now, another object that I like to use as a painting tool, this is not my toothbrush that I'm using in my mouth. This is an old toothbrush. Essentially what you do is you dip the tip and the bristles, the bristles of the brush actually act as if they were a paintbrush. So this is kind of a fun way to use as a, a painting technique or to step in as a paintbrush if you don't have one. Another object that I like to use is a sponge. Now once again, please don't take the sponge from the sink if it's being used for dishes, but this is also another fun way of either making prints or maybe using as a paintbrush, okay? So those are various ways of making prints by using objects and a couple of tools that you can use if you want to substitute for a paintbrush or if you don't have one. Enjoy, guys. Bye.